Hello everyone, this is Videos World Channel and today we learn how to design and analyze MET Foundation. Before we start to this, I show you my website www.engineersforcivil.com. Please visit to this site and suggest me what uh, I include in this site. You can go uh, easily to AutoCAD tutorial series, Abacus, SAP, uh, ETAP, Microsoft Project, STAT Pro, MATLAB. This is about if you want to uh, uh, preparation of gate 2020, you can go here. If you want to civil engineering books, you go in this menu bar. If you want to other exam books, you go to the this menu and one more thing if you visit in this site please follow this site and comment and suggest what mm, i can improve in this site so let's start we start to how to design matlab before uh, we start matlab we require a analyze model so first we uh, create a model i have already a model this is a model of six story building and some important things you remember when you go to the mat foundation the size of the uh, building uh, width and length this is the 10 meter and this is 10 meter remember this size and the column dimension is 600 by 600 mm all column remember these things okay uh, size of the building and column size <laughs> then analyze the model after analyze check the zero error then go to the stat foundation from here okay I have three loads dead load live load and a combination so we include all load to the stat foundation click uh, on the stat foundation run stat foundation this is the stat foundation MATLAB MAT foundation when the soil be what is MAT foundation when the soil bearing capacity is low or when the column are closely spaced then we go for MATLAB MAT foundation and RA or route foundation so when you open this structure in the stat foundation zoom in and go to the top view from here these are the columns and reaction okay the size of the building is 10 meter and 10 meter 10 by 10 meter it's appear uh, length is more than uh, width but not is a square building 10 by 10 okay after this you go to the this uh, job found job setup click on join setup and go to the create a new job and the left side after click on the create a new job go to the left side and fill this data here we input mat foundation and job type is mat foundation mat design code is indian and select uh, the load I am select 1.5 combination for this by this arrow you include all load and you remove all load from this arrow I include only combination from this arrow and go to click on the create job after clicking you see a uh, one new option is appear mat foundation click on the mat foundation and first step go to the mass generation mass generation open this mass generator by clicking on the plus sign 
then go to the add meshing region plus okay here some shapes our building is square or rectangle so we select the rectangle region first of all we uh, have to make a region or you say that slab slab uh, size so we select the add region after this we click on go to the right side and right side mm, we have to put the length of the building here 10 meter and the width of the building is 10 meter we know the uh, y level of the building here you check the base is y is 0 so y is 0 and origin is 0 0 when i click this add reason our matte foundation uh, design uh, create from the center space center to center spacing of the column but it's not right the right uh, size of the matte foundation is this outer edge of the column from the outer edge of the column okay so what we do this is 600 mm we know that 600 mm okay and uh, this is the center of the this grid 00 xz here 00 xz so if we uh, move the origin minus 300 because this is 600 and this is 300 this is 300 0 0.300 this is mm so we move the coordinate uh, origin 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 x in minus 0 0.3 z okay then my grid from um, start from here and we extend my uh, slab size is 600 mm okay let's check origin is minus 0 0.3 min minus 0 0.3 and length is 10.6 10.6 and click add reason now reason is good now we delete the previous reason by the keyboard select and click on the delete button now you see uh, this reason is also not from the uh, from the edge or outer edge of the column because of some graphic issue uh, that's uh, appear like that but it is actually from the outer edge of the building column okay after this step go to the meshing go to the meshing setup and select the boundary of the matlab mat foundation and here put the name mat and add reason after this you see here mat reason is add then you click on the generate mesh first you click on the name then click on the generate mesh select the shape quadrilateral means uh, square uh, mix quadrant triangle and triangle uh, we select quadrilateral and okay this meshing is done go to the isometric view this is the meshing is done after this step go to the analyze property and here we put the slab thickness here default is 300 mm let's check uh, the mat foundation pass or fail on this thickness and the soil property we include the soil property uh, then go to the mat slab analysis and design option first option is analyze click on analyze and analyze the slab analysis is complete and go to the output of analysis here we check the uh, soil pressure if we select the stress uh, this is the maximum absolute stress and this is the top stress something wrong in this uh, modeling we can analyze again then go to the output select 3d diagram 
and stress uh, again something wrong all stresses are zero okay we go to this refresh again go to the soil thickness this is th uh, 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 is correct soil property is correct and then go to the analyze something wrong and this go to the output option and check the soil pressure okay okay we an an analyze again analysis is done now we check click on this diagrams and uh, this uh, purple color is showing the nodal displacement and this color so will show beam displacement okay you can check the stresses from here max and absolute stress you can check uh, soil pressure this is color showing the pressure of uh, variation if you want to check deflection you click uh, here this is the deflection of the joints if you want to see the 3d model this is the 3d model of the deflection of the mat foundation now go to the moment envelope generation in this option we select all load and generate moment envelope moment of the all load after generating go to the design and here here to change the design parameters and click on design this you can change your design parameter according your problem you can click on the design after that changing the parameters after this message go to the result summary okay here's the important thing area require area require for this moment is fail means area of steel here you can see longitudinal top and traverse and traverse bottom area of steel required to resist this moment this moment is fail because uh, when the software provide the steel for resisting this moment the thickness of this matlab is uh, not capable to to uh, area this area of steel okay so what we do we change the thickness go to the slab thickness and 300 because i have very have uh, uh, very heavy load on this model you can check live load is 50 kilo newton per meter square is very heavy you can change your thickness uh, i think uh, one meter one meter thickness then again analyze analyze after analysis you check the stresses after that design parameter design check and go to the result summary no sorry movement envelope is again we have to do again and then go to the design after design click on the result summary here you check now area still is provide then now go to the reinforcement zoning where we provide the reinforcement to define the zones uh, so longitudinal top uh, uh, before reinforcement zoning we get the area of steel now this area of steel we uh, detail uh, detailing in the uh, matlab so for longitudinal create the zone longitudinal portion then longitudinal bottom portion then traverse top crate then traverse bottom crate okay after this go to the moment capacity check here you check the plot capacity diagram this is the capacity diagram and color uh, for by this color you can see the stress go to the plot moment diagram this is the moment diagram plot to uh, failure diagram this is the failure diagram if you, this mat is fail from the red portion is fail portion and the green portion is the pass portion if you increase the green portion you change the grade you change the steel or you change the bar size if i change this bar size 8 to 10 and then plot you can see here the some changes 
we can all change 10 to 12 this area is increased green area is increased like this okay after that you check the calculation sheet from here this is the calculation sheet and uh, this is the drawing of this is the schedule of the drawing uh, not in column and this is the previous uh, foundation and this is the um, mat foundation the mat foundation is complete you can also check the result from here reaction summary contact area plate stress and steel you can check from here reinforcement moments everything is in this calculation sheet uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe please subscribe this channel and share this channel and thank you